How's it going? My name is Chris Delvisis. I'm a product manager for National Instruments Data Acquisition Products. And today we're at the mobile app station where we're showing off some of NI's latest uh, mobile apps for the iPad. Um, so we see two main use cases for mobile apps. Uh, one is for portable data acquisitions and the second is for remotely monitoring lab use systems. So the first app I'd like to show for portable data acquisition is for our CDAC 9191 which is a one slot uh, Wi-Fi compact DAC chassis. And so we have an app uh, available for both iOS and Android. I'm going to go ahead and open up the CDAC 9191 data display app. And so I can do my configuration in the upper right hand corner. Um, I can choose a device, it would automatically discover devices on my local subnet. In this case I'm just going to use a simulated device. Um, so you can try download, download it and try it out for free in the App Store today. Um, I can choose the number of samples to acquire, the sampling rate, and then I can select the channels I'd like to acquire from. So if I go back, choose continuous measurement, and now we're acquiring, I can pinch and zoom in on the screen and tap and hold on the signal to see the data value. So that's the CDAC 9191 data display app. Uh, the other app I'd like to show is the data dashboard for LabVIEW. And so this is actually a new version of the data dashboard that's not released as of today, but will be later this fall, and it's for iPad. And you can see I've already created a few dashboards, uh, but I would like, what I'd like to show you is how you can create a custom user interface on your iPad with this app. So if I tap up here, I can add some controls, like a graph, and then tap and resize. I'll go ahead and add a gauge and an LED. A new feature of this app is also that we allow the ability to control as well as add indicators. And so I can connect each of these controls uh, to either LabVIEW shared variables or web services by tapping, clicking on the icon, and I can choose shared, shared variables. This is the computer behind me here and we can see a list of the variables I've chosen. So in this case, I'll choose the manipulated variable for my PID control. And then when I run the app, we can see it, it accepts the data value. So this is a really nice application. It allows you to create a completely custom user interface. Um, and it will be available later this fall for the iPad.